Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from my Stan Gamers, and welcome. So a common question I see recurring in a lot of my videos is how can I make my ship look better? Aaron, how can I sort my thrusters out? My ship looks really square and horrible. Every time I build a ship, it just turns into a big square or a big box. What can I do to make my design look better? So today I'm going to give you some tips and maybe a little bit of insight, the difference between a basic builder and a more advanced builder in Space Engineers, and just throw some generic tips at you. Now, if you believe your designs are absolutely beautiful, then maybe they are. So maybe you don't need any help at all. But in this little uh, tutorial, you could say, sort of help guide, I'm just going to try to show you some different ideas of what to take in consideration when you're building. So first off, in front of us, we have a small thruster and we have a large thruster. Now, these are in two very basic housings, and in Space Engineers, you see a lot of people build very Minecraft sort of esque when they start first starting out. They start adding ribbon to things such as that, where it's just a square offset, but you need to take into consideration you've got a lot of different options here. Now, just going across that top tab there, we've got these half angled blocks that I can add to the actual tab there, and we've also got on number two, we can also add like slants to things. So you can see how we can start detailing this thruster and changing the shape of it already and turn it into just a shape that looks better to actually play with. So if we actually rotate that once again and add a corner piece to it, you can see just how from doing a few little adjustments, we can start to break up that really squared off shape. And you can see I've done it even more over here where I've actually used the half blocks in section that, that a lot of people seem still not to use the half blocks. They use the blocks in a more complete pattern. So if I'm over here, for instance, and I want to turn this into more of a half block sort of thruster, like I've done over there, I can start adding the half block sort of ridge around the edge like so. And then I can even use, if I press number four here, I've got on the tab, this particular half block that I don't think is going to look very appropriate in this particular spot. But you can actually have a look. So we've got another light armored block that I think will fit a little bit better into that area. And you can see how I can start to angle that armor around that thruster and to really just add some detail into it. Now the next factor that I want you to consider when it comes to building a little bit more advanced is what feature you're actually putting your housing around or what you're building around. So if, say for instance, we've got an engine here now, in most common situations, this would have to be cooled in some sort of way, so we need to maybe build in this engine cowl in some sort of way of keeping this thing cool. So perhaps we could go with a system where we've got some maybe half-constructed blocks going along the top. So spotlights are, are, are beautiful because they've got these like little bits of detail in, say, in high voltage and stuff. So if we put these across there like so, of course, you don't know the spotlights in this con current sort of configuration, so we can delete that side out as well. And then we can just work out these and work out which way we particularly want these blocks to go and then connect them up together. You can see how we can start to build more detail into that thruster. And we can even take that a step further by adding, say for instance, a catwalk block over the top. So we'll take the catwalk here and we'll attach that down that way and down that way. Then we grab ourselves the grinder out so we're grabbing ourselves, let's just grab the basic grinder. When it comes to adding detail in, you want the grinder to take off the blocks quite quickly. So you can see as we get in some like paneling going on across the top here just adding a little bit more detail to that thruster as we go and this is what the, makes the difference between an advanced builder and a builder who just uses the basic blocks you've always got to keep trying to evolve and change what makes the design up so say for instance we've completed something like this if it was me i think i would even grind down them underneath there you can also use wheels quite surprisingly so if we got ourselves a wheel block like this you can use these for a whole variety of different things. Over here, say for instance, we want to build like an antenna that encroaches off a ship. We can put two wheels together like so. And then we can grind them down again. So we can add these really interesting sort of shapes to a ship. And what you can do on top of that is if you find another shape such as this interior pillar works really well, I've found. You can add the interior pillar to the end. You can grind the interior pillar down to that level and then you can add a little interior light on it. So let's just search light. We'll grab ourselves a light, put that on the toolbar, and we can attach that to the end there. And we've made ourselves just a simple antenna out of some grinded down blocks. And that is really what makes the difference between a more advanced builder and someone that just considers building these square designs. Now, there's nothing wrong with building square ships in a matter of speaking, but I always feel it's a lot more immersive when you start to think about each block and what it requires and how you can add the bits on. But if you end up becoming more of an advanced builder, you'll realize that things just constantly piss you off now. Like, I feel like this block is sticking out too far. It needs to retract itself into that engine bay. And then you find out that engine bay could actually be used for something else. 
And then another thing that makes you uh, that will turn you even more advanced is you'll start doing things like this, where you'll grab the shape and you'll go, hang on, that shape could be used for something else. So then you start to have a look. See, now we've made a, a, an elong sort of engine bay. But now I'm thinking, maybe that shouldn't be an engine bay. Maybe that should be the top of a bridge. And you can see how I'd insert the glass into that area. And then yeah, you could even advance this even further. So you could take a second one of them. You could attach that underneath into that area. And you can see how we're starting to actually make a ship just out of an engine bay. So you've really just got to use your imagination and just, just create things in your head. And there's two sorts of builders that I've kind of worked out from Space Engineers. There's the ones that plan everything beforehand. And the, the best thing about these guys is that they have a solid idea of what they want to get to. And then there's the other way where you have an idea of one particular part, you start building, and then you end up with a ship that requires you to kind of fit or build around that particular shape that you built, or you can just even move that particular form around. So there's just a few things I want to get into your head. Now, what I've done here is I've ba really built just a basic interior for you guys to have a look at. And what I see with a lot of people's interiors is they leave them very simple. They leave them very squared. So what I'm going to actually do in here is I'm just going to grab some blocks, add them to my actual inventory like so. I'm just going to detail up quite quickly this interior. So what I'm going to actually work out here is I think these vents need some sort of support. They don't look very nice, just left on their own like so. So there's two ways we could do that. This is, well, there's actually a load of ways we could do that. So what I'm going to actually do is start adding some detailing to this room itself. So I'm going to cover up them vents. Now, there's multiple ways I could cover up them vents. I could cover them up with glass so you can see the actual part behind them. So, in this case, I'm not going to use that. I'm actually going to find the vent block. So, we've got the vertical window. That's quite an old school block. So, if we rotate that into that second piece there, we can actually leave the vent up in that second area. So, we can see a little bit of that as it goes through. We can vent that up in that area as well. And we can get back to that block for this lower quadrant down here. So, you can see how we can just start adding these blocks together to create a more detailed interior and then in these lower sections we could even reverse that block around and create a wall that looks like that so we're starting already to get a better detailed interior in in this case so we've got this nice slope area but we've also got this doorway now what i see with a lot of people is they just stick them on this square side here but let's actually build something into this wall so for instance we could even do something as simple as this we sort of abstract the wall out there a little bit we could find ourselves a plain simple block and rotate these into the corners like so take that block out the middle and you can see we've already got like a little bit of a doorway form in there now we could do a whole variety of different things with this you've just got to kind of work with the shape as it comes out so we could actually rotate them out into like more of a traditional sort of star wars corridor and then with that block going into that we just got to kind of fit these half blocks together and create the shape as we go so that's not going to fit into that shape like that so we just have to work it out so that's actually too far back, so we're going to have to rotate and use the bigger piece. So there we go, that's going to connect into there. And that'll connect into there, and then we can go back to this block on the sides like so. So we've already started to build ourselves a corridor, and then it's just about advancing from that up to the next level. So you've got to imagine maybe you could have like a catwalk that connects up into this bit here. So let's put, um, for instance, what would be really nice for a little catwalk. We've got these interior pillars that allow you to still see through to the actual machinery, but it means we can insert a catwalk into that area as well. So we're going to insert that in, and then we can insert one of them in, of course, in the other angle as well. So now we've got to build ourselves a little catwalk, so let's find the catwalk segments. We'll put them into there, and you can see just how we evolve this design from some basic ideas, and we're just increasing the detail of, of the interior segment. So let's actually find the right catwalk pieces, connect them up, and then we're going to put a corner piece in there. And that's going to wrap around. That could even be a separate doorway that leads into another area. But even for this case, we could just add a simple way of climbing up into that area. Now, how could we climb up into that area? You need to think about it. So maybe take them vertical ones before that have slits in that could act as a stairway. So there we go. Now we have access to that secondary floor. And we can add, um, I believe, a final rotation. Let's go six. And we need to actually protect that corner so no one can fall off. It's just little ideas like that. So we put that corner on that side. So if anyone was up there, they wouldn't fall off the side. But they've still got access up into that secondary deck area. So you can see how we've started to detail this hallway already. Very simple. But it just relies on how you imagine your interiors. So you can see the thing I don't like about this interior at the moment. This is the ever 
sort of building evolution processes see how it's cut these blocks off in this segment and there's no access up to that second level i think there should be some sort of access from this side it just feels like it's it's not right if there isn't so maybe even add like a, a secondary access point to that part go to four and we need to add a piece in that actually has a catwalk on one side so no one can fall off and there we go now we've got access to that catwalk from both sides we could even have this a little bit uneven a lot of people like to have the designs very sort of symmetrical but in this case we could have the design so it's symmetrical on one side and the other side it's not at all so very simple very nice just basic ideas that you can use on your ship now talking about using the half blocks to create these different sorts of shapes and vectors if we actually go up onto the top of here let's attempt to build a little bit of a ship so for this next segment i'm going to pretend that we've actually started to build a ship from this component we've ended up with a very square sort of cargo bay from the interior itself maybe we built the interior first and then we realized we wanted to build a ship around it so the first thing i'm going to do here in this case is actually work out where the center point is so let's actually have a look if there is going to be a center point or did Aaron build it completely evenly so no it looks like i've actually done it quite well in this case so the first thing i'm going to do is try to round off the actual hull of the ship itself and i could do this in a number of ways i could take the corners off like this so if i pop the corners oh god i've managed to place a block by mistake and we actually replace one of them corner pieces with this piece here we can actually start to round off the hull of this ship so we can build a central corridor and then with the second block we can actually build a curve into this so you can see we've already started to adapt this curve into the shape and this is going to leave us with a very nicely detailed hull and area for thrusters on the roof as well so you can see how we've got that round sort of core now that round sort of core looks very good but it looks simple now how you can break this sort of up a little bit is if we cut in here we've got to imagine that this sort of hull is going to be needed for high sort of pressures inside and out so we're going to actually build ourselves a little bit of detailing on here so we're going to do this by adding some ridges into the design this is just another thing you can do you create the definition between the two components so there we go you can see we've got like a little bit of a ridge coming off from this part to this part here so we're just going to cut that back and then we're going to add a secondary block so the secondary block we actually want here number two we'll go back to that and we'll use this thin one here so we've got this outcrop now coming or recessing from the side of the ship and what we can do is we can just keep this recessing out by adding more blocks to the side just following a pattern and i'm just doing this completely freehand at the moment but if you actually have a plan or even draw this out it's going to be a lot easier and where you want these particular areas to be so now we've got this center segment we could even for instance cut that part out and leave that as a detailed spot now something else you can do with that detailed spot is you can actually cut in a little bit further let's just do this and i'll show you this one last thing so we can actually recess that smaller half block in there and you can see how we've just added a little bit of detail into the side of it now the final thing i want to show you before this is colors and how much difference colors are going to actually make to a design and when it comes to adding detail so we've got three sort of different levels of objects in the particular one spot here now the final thing i'm going to actually do to that though is add a little vent into the side there so we've got a bit more detail in to work with there we go there's a little vent added into the side there so the main body of the hull i'm going to keep as that sort of gray and to make that stand out the second layer what i'm actually going to do is add that in a darker gray tone like so so this is going to add a little bit more definition between them two blocks so this block actually stands out in front of it now one thing i want you to take consideration with this something that i think works quite well is if you have the darker color in the background so say for instance we have that as a dark sort of gray let's actually increase the darkness just ever so slightly so we've gone to that darkness and then in the foreground we have a lighter gray you'll see how well the contrast actually picks up and defines between them two objects look at that so you can see how we've got some detailing coming off there already and we can also add up to this top section paint that over the top there and that is just a few little ideas of how you can kind of add the detailing onto these different sections. Now, with this particular part of the design, I can take various different parts of these thrusters. So I've got this thruster from over here that I quite like. I could even add this onto the top like so, rotate that into position and maybe add some sort of venting system at the top. So you can see how we can start to work a ship out of this actual design itself. So maybe we could even have sort of dual thrusters on both sides here at the front as well. So you can see how that thruster is working on that side. That thruster, just realign it with that. And you can start to build a ship out of the advanced 
shapes we've already built at the side so just another option when it comes to building this so anyway i hope that's give you some more ideas of how to build more advanced sort of shapes i know i've kind of been babbling on for a bit of time now but hopefully you understand a little bit of the concepts and stopping making your ship just look like a cube with thrusters sticking out of every different port and orifice anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you